Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. At the risk of sounding like one of WWE's self-promoting did you know facts, did you know this channel started off as a monthly hour-long chat show on YouTube, featuring appearances from the likes of Hulk Hogan, Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho and more, which then transitioned to national television for seven glorious seasons. In celebration of both passing 300,000 subscribers recently, and reaching a hundred million lifetime views over the weekend, we've got a rather big announcement to make. We're bringing that WrestleTalk TV show back, but who would host this new show? In the past, we've had everyone from wrestling legend Jim Cornette to indie darling Marty Skrull. Comment below with who you want to see in the hot seat. I'll keep you updated about its coming soon progress right here on WrestleTalk's YouTube channel. So click subscribe to make sure you get the news first. Dave Bautista is currently promoting the release of his new movie Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, where he plays Drax the Destroyer, a beefed up, topless, tight jeans wearing ass kicker. But he's found time in his busy promotional schedule to talk to Chris Jericho about his former career as a beefed up, topless, tight jeans wearing ass kicker acting. Even though he's a big Hollywood megastar now, Dave told Y2J's Talk is Jericho podcast that he still misses wrestling. Yeah, I miss it a lot. What I don't miss is the company, to be honest with you. I don't miss WWE. I miss wrestling. I just don't miss dealing with the company and its bullshit. Yeah, it's the bullshit, man. It's just too much bullshit. But even with all that bull poop, Batista still wants to do one last run to hang up his boots and very, very skinny jeans. I said I would come back and run a whole program with Hunter. That's the only thing I'm interested in doing. They're just not interested in it, you know? It would be what I would go out on. This echoes the last time Batista pitched another run in WWE for SummerSlam 2014. But Triple H and Stephanie McMahon shot his idea down because they didn't think the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie would be successful. Unfortunately, on last night's Raw House show in Liverpool, England, Emma appears to have been injured after a nasty bump on the turnbuckle, awkwardly landing on her shoulder following Sasha Banks' double knee spot. According to live reports, the referee made the X sign to show personnel backstage that injury was legitimate and Emma was escorted from the ring. Emma had previously been out since May last year, suffering a back injury which later required surgery. Despite being medically cleared to return as of October, WWE teased her repackaging as Emmalina for 17 weeks to then drop the character completely. She made her TV in-ring return as Evil Emma on the Raw after WrestleMania last month. One of my favourite wrestling YouTube channels is Wrestling Shorts, and they've recently posted their latest cartoon, Roman Reigns vs Braun Strowman at Payback, and they very kindly let us play a brief clip of what I think is the best episode they've done so far. Welcome to Payback, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns with a spear. Mamma mia. And another spear. And here comes a Superman punch. And oh, he's stuck in Strowman's beard. Roman's trying to get loose, but the beard is pulling him in. Strowman's beard has interfered in the match. Is this even legal? And here comes Brock Lesnar! What's he doing here? Get ready for the German suplex! Mamma mia! To 
watch the rest, go to the Wrestling Shorts YouTube channel. Or watch the latest episode of Wrestle Ramble, where Luke Owen and I look at the alternative plans for WrestleMania 33. And Charlotte Flair has responded to her private images being leaked online. Click the videos to the left to find out more and press subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.